so I was born in Brantford. Uh, Dred and I met there in uh, uh, when we were teenagers and got married when uh, we were 19 and 20. And uh, shortly after that, we moved to Mount Forest and pastored there for a while in a small church. Typical craziness of three boys in a house, lots of sports stuff, lots of noise and action, just a regular, normal household. We went to the family doctor, and uh, when we were getting referred to the audiologist, he actually looked at Joey and went, uh, there's something wrong here. We didn't notice anything different. Um, he said, let's get some blood work just to check things out. And 11 o'clock that night, we got a phone call that said, uh, get Joey to the hospital uh, ASAP. We've got to get some more tests. We don't like what we see. The next morning, a team of doctors walked into the, the little isolation room in, in the merge and said, uh, we're sorry to tell you that your son has leukemia and we need to start treatment immediately. We weren't sure what to expect or what was going on because when you hear cancer, you, you fear the worst. Figure you're just gonna be the next family that deals with you know a child losing a battle to cancer. Uh, so after the, uh, the initial shock was wearing off, they sat down with us and kind of explained the whole process and was very thorough and very clear as to what was gonna happen. Joey sat down with the child life specialists and they were really good at walking him through what to expect uh, on a level that a four-year-old could understand. Uh, it was it was hard to explain to Joey what cancer was because you know he's four years old. So we just explained like you're really sick and we've got to get some medicine that's going to help you beat this. My dad comes down with tears all over his face. He's like drenched in tears. I hear the word cancer, and since I'm like not that old, I realize that it's a big word because like I've heard of it before. My mind first goes through, is he gonna die? And all that, and not wanting to lose my little brother. I didn't know what to think. I was really in shock. The tragic nature of our story is it's not just a cancer story. A week after Joey was diagnosed, uh, Doretta suffered a stress seizure and ended up in a medical coma for a couple of weeks. We were told that things were going to be okay when, when she was taken out of that medical coma. Uh, she was in recovery. Things were happening the right way. Things were going well. And October 30th, I got a phone call about three hours after I had left uh, a visit with her saying, get back to the hospital. Your wife is critical. She ended up with uh, severe brain damage. And on uh, the 5th of November, she passed away. And three days after she passed away, we were back in treatment for a full 12 hour day. And so cancer didn't stop just because our life was completely upside down. To have to sit and explain to a four year old that mommy's not gonna come back and, and then to try and explain that to the other two boys all at the same time, it was, it was horrific. So it was incredible to watch the, the care that he was given. And you just, you sense that he was being protected by, by God at the same time because he never got as sick as um, they told us he might get. So he was just able to push through and, and with the treatment and the care, just keep crushing every day. People ask me all the time how I got through all that. For me, strength was found in embracing weakness, but to rely on a faith in God that goes beyond uh, an understanding and beyond what is normal and comprehensible and to be faced with all of those things and, and not have the hope that uh, that's found in God. We, we couldn't have done it any other way. And then to find the support that we had just discovered at the hospital, it was just incredible to watch everybody rally around our family when we were so used to being the ones rallying. And it's just this mantra of, we have to do this together. And so that's become a family mantra. It's become, uh, in everything that I do, that's just the way it is. Like, you can't do it alone. The biggest thing that we received from the hospital was compassion. When Child Life would come in, when Deborah was a huge uh, help in that area. We also try to normalize the hospital experience and promote uh, positive growth and development. I would provide art activities for Joey to do. He really loved to draw and to color. So he just developed this love of art where they would bring him, they would bring him a bucket of toys, but he wanted to paint. And so this love of art developed through all of that. So that's largely attributed to child life and the, the program. What I really appreciated about Dr. Zorzi was uh, the care that she gave to us and uh, was able to just sit down with us in the beginning and, and provide hope and let us know that, you know, to the best of her ability, Joe was going to be okay. The reason why I wanted to be a pediatric oncologist is children uh, retain their innocence um, and their trust throughout even the most difficult journeys and they really inspire the adults and the team around them. And certainly Joey exemplified all those things throughout his journey. The biggest blessing of Joey 
is he has this ridiculous smile that will just light up a room. Things were tough, things were rough, it was a long day, and yet he was smiling and laughing and joking with nurses, and to have a joy and a peace was just incredible. He was always really playful, even on days that, um, you know, he was feeling sick, he had to, to undergo really invasive and, and difficult procedures. And he just was very positive and just really uh, normalized um, his experience when he was here. Uh, every day is a new day with the four of us, and uh, we're just celebrating uh, the days and looking forward to what God has for us in the future because we've just, we've come through so much. And especially in the last little while, we've just recognized, uh, we've just passed a lot of five-year moments of Joey's diagnosis, five years since Doretta passed away. It's felt like a reset moment for, for the family. And so we have no idea what's next. We just know that uh, whatever's next, we're doing it together. Oh, Daddy! Watch this. This is going to be epic. What's up, Toby? Yeah, what's up?